I'm Eve and I'm from Football United. I've been a coach since 2015 and this video is all about helping you, the player, in understanding how you can make sure that you can create a fun, safe and inclusive environment for all who are participating in the Festival 23 tournament. Before we get into the rules of the game, let's see how you can take responsibility for what you need to do on the pitch. There are four key rules for any player partaking in a fair play football match. The first one is to respect yourself. This means respecting yourself on the field, trying as hard as you can, being cool. The second one is respecting your teammates. This means encouraging and motivating them, helping them out if they're going through a tough time and also passing them the ball and including them as much as possible. The third is respecting your opponents. This means no dangerous play and shaking hands before and after the match and upholding sportsmanship throughout. The fourth one is respecting the game leaders and festival staff. This means listening to their instructions, no arguing back and listening to their decisions. Fair play football is played without referees and gives players the opportunity to take accountability for their actions as they mediate conflicts themselves throughout the games. This is an adapted version of Football 3, which was created by Common Goal. There are three parts to any game that you might play in a fair play tournament. The first one is the pre-game icebreaker and discussion. The second is the game which is upheld by the rules that you come up with with the other team. And the third is the post-game discussion with the other team. We're going to demonstrate the process of a fair play game so that you can be the best game leader possible. All right, hey legends, we're here to play our fair play football match. So before the match, we're gonna do- Prior to the game, the two teams come together to agree on the rules that they want to use. It's important to introduce yourself and remind them of the purpose of the tournament. Get straight into explaining the energizer, then use that as an activity to initiate a quick reminder about the fair play values and the lessons that they learned from that energizer that they can take into the game with them. So now we're going to discuss the open rules in which we're going to have both teams negotiate. After the icebreaker, generate a short discussion on what the open rules can be and how they should award the fair play points. Provide some time to both teams to exchange and share what they feel is most fair. Ask questions to help them reflect on the fair play concepts and positive values to ensure that it is an inclusive game. So for the next rule, we're going to decide... Prior to the game, the two teams come together to agree on the rules that they want to use. It's important to participate in this activity and get involved in the discussion by sharing your ideas. Remember that you should give others a chance to speak and that your ideas may not necessarily be the only ones accepted. When deciding on the rules and point system, always think about how this can be fun, safe and inclusive for everybody involved. Come into each game with new ideas because every situation or scenario will be different. Now that we've agreed upon the open rules and we all understand the fixed rules as well, uh, it's key to identify that for the match, you, there's going to be a game score and a fair play score. So for the game score, if you win, you get three points. If you draw, you get one point. And if you lose, it's zero. However, the difference in a fair play football match and a regular football match is we've got the inclusion of fair play points, which means each team will start off with one point. And that point can be subtracted if we don't adhere to the values that we've agreed to beforehand, the teamwork and inclusion, the communication and the accountability, as well as the rules. And we can also add an additional point to receive two points if you go above and beyond for your team and for the opposition as well within the match. All right, this is a paper rock. Piece of paper rock. Ah. <laughs> Boss! Boss! Oh, what's wrong with this guy? You notice him? What is. Yep, got it. Yeah, what? 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 Hang what? On, what? Hang on. All right, wait up, wait up. We're our game leaders. 
Game leaders, can we please have a fair play timeout? Okay, so guys, what happened? Uh, I think I maybe yeah, went a little bit out of control with the shove. Yeah. yeah, probably went a bit too hard. Yeah, is that in line with the values we talked about at the start of the game? No. no really, right? No. We'd, what were the values we talked about? Well, one was like, yeah, fair play. Yeah, being accountable for your actions. And yeah, going in hard like that, yeah, it wasn't in line with the rules. Yeah. yeah, fair enough, guys. We have to be inclusive, fair, respectful, accountable. So let's try, you know, enjoy the game, right? Let's not be too aggressive, right? Shake hands. Sorry, mate. All right, so blue ball. Let's get back. Once the game finishes, whether you win or lose, please remember to thank your teammates and shake hands with your opponents. Walk together to the post-game discussion area for a cool-down and your match reflection and awarding of the fair play points. Well done everyone, good fun game of football, so... Engage in the post-game discussion that the game leader facilitates and reflect on some of your observations. Discuss with your team openly and honestly the number of points that you will provide and then nominate someone from your team to give it to the game leader. It also helps to reflect on a positive example of fair play and share that with the opposing team. A successful fair play game is the result of both teams and the game leader working together. Reflect on what you've learned from this game and apply it to your next game. Football fair play is about embedding positive values and respect into every game that we play. Being a player is about respecting yourself, your teammates, your opponents, and the game leaders and tournament staff. Remember that teamwork provides you with a sense of purpose, belonging, and creativity that allows you to come up with great ideas with your team. Remember that this fair play tournament is about you, the player, having the best experience possible, and you get to take part in creating an environment that you would like to be a part of. So have fun, play your best, and be cool. Thanks so much, and see you at the Festival 23.